Golden Eagles working it around. Fazio feeding it in, and it's a goal. Connor McClellan starts things off for Marquette. And just uh, two minutes in, the Golden Eagles are up 1-0. Yeah, what? Here's Orsini. Ten seconds left in the man-up opportunity, and Wagner paints the back of the net. It's the first goal of the season for John Wagner, the junior out of St. David's, Ontario. Here in the, in the first, goal, first game of the season. Marquette, one of three on extra man opportunities today, and that's a face-off win from Melillo. Matriculating the ball up the field is Colin Real, and it's already a goal. Hello, where it did that come from? It is raining goals in Milwaukee. Colin Real took it from the face-off circle and said, I will handle this myself, please. And with Zoe Comerford, it's a whole big lacrosse opening weekend from the Valley Fields Dome. Golden Eagles won their first women's lacrosse home game yesterday. And now for men's lacrosse, they're off to a great start. Anthony Orsini buries his first for one Golden Eagles. A side-winding shot. Hunter Sells read it perfectly. And that's a turnaround shot and a goal. Anthony Orsini on the board with number two, and the freshman showing out. Picked up 12 ground balls last year, but switched into more of an attacking role this year. Wagner double team. They're not letting him get any open looks, but Connor McClellan sure is. Another goal. So every time Jacksonville punches, Marquette takes it and counters right back. Anthony Orsini has two goals, one assist. He has been the impact freshman so far. Marquette may need another one or two from him or from Connor McClelland to win this game. Marquette retakes the lead off of McClelland's third goal of the day. Now the Golden Eagles have no reason to rush it. And that's a right-handed shot and a goal. Peter Henkhouse on the board with his first of the day, and all of a sudden the Golden Eagles are rolling again. Check today, one goal, two assists, but there's four shots have really only resulted in one good look, although there's his second goal. Speak of the devil, and he delivers. John Wagner with the skipper right by Hunter Sells. Marquette retakes the lead, nine to eight. Like him and Dixon Smith handing off duties on that end. There's Keaton Thompson knifing in. Ryan Bevel chops it out, and there's a goal. A wonderful shot by Connor McClelland, his fourth of the day. That Get the best possible shot out of this tired Marquette defense. And when you win face-off so cleanly like Forbes does, it gives your team time to sub, and that's a goal. Eric Applegate off a wonderful pass, and this game is tied with two and a half minutes left. Ten all. Now here's Wagner with 10 seconds remaining. In and a goal! John Wagner buried it! And the junior midfielder, who is Marquette's rock on offense last year, has done it again, putting the Golden Eagles ahead 11-10 with less than 10 seconds left.